Spanky is better. Damn right it's better. Spanky ain't anything less. He's ready. Sixteen dollars, I can't believe it. Ha! I told you, obviously sorg and sugar cane are close enough to each other. I can't believe it. The yeast, it works. Well, I'll tell you what, South America it comes to Virginia. Gold mine. Huh? I just hope it tastes good when we run it off. I got a small steel already set up down in the creek. Let's get this stuff loaded. Just because this stuff worked off, don't mean it's gonna taste good. We only made a small amount of mash. Because we didn't know if this was going to work, so we're going to use the small submarine steel. I'm burning up. I got to shed this mother. There's wall on there. So, what's your idea with that? Coffee, Josh. Take some beans and put them in the thumper. Put some in the thumper? Yeah, and just to give it that essence, you know what I'm saying? I brought some coffee beans back from Brazil. Right now, caffeinated alcoholic beverages are a big craze. And I want to be on the top of that market. Keep this stuff around. Well, I've got Henry. All right. Sorghum baby. Tell you what, Josh, that mash is pretty darn warm. It won't take long for this ball. Sure smells good, though. It smells good, don't it? Henry, what do you think? Should we try some of that coffee? Well, you better fill it for a minute. Give me the hose. Yeah. One four minutes, this one is all in a minute. Way close. I went all the way to Brazil to get these coffee beans. These beans here come from Fabiola. Her and her husband and their kids live on this farm. And they've had it for like hundreds of years. Come on, on. What was it? What was it? Like a hang on back? I was gonna run my phone and worm and all that crap. Oh, give me a break. I'm serious. Well, it's gonna smell like coffee from now on? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. All right, let's get the cap on it then. Let's get that shove it. Ooh, damn it. Thing hot, eh, bro? Hold on. Way in bed. No, no, that's not yet. That's just one barrel, you know. Oh. Charge this thump with beans. You know what? I don't know what my father would think <laughs> and my grandfather. They probably disown me. If you don't get outside the box, Henry, you'll be stuck in it with everybody else. I've been stuck in it for 50 years. Exactly. And made a killing. That's for sure. Ow! Damn. I thought he was scald or not. We're going to be making liquor any second. Hey, we already making liquor. Hot dog! <laughs> Man, you can actually smell the coffee aroma. Yes, I've got donuts to go with it. You'd be sick. Let me get a smell and look at now. It smells good, don't it? Well, clear, ain't it? Not bad. No, it's poor old big name. All right, big dog, what we got? See what you got. Look at that. It's about perfect, y'all. It can't do It smells. Man, you smell that sorghum in there? And that stuff was thick as my life. <laughs> That's good stuff right there, man. You can totally taste those sweet notes from the sorghum, and you can totally pick up on that coffee aroma. It, it transfers through from the thump keg right into the jar. You know what the best part about all this is? It's that fermented overnight. That's gonna be the kicker right there. That's gonna be the money maker for 16 hours. I've never believed it. I tried to tell you, man. The trip to Brazil was worth its weight in gold. This is the first time we've ever made this stuff. You just wait. I'm going to perfect this. Mm. <laughs> it burns blue kids. See? Hey, man. <laughs> if we keep that yeast alive like you're talking about, talking about the money, man. We'll be the only moonshiners in America running off alcohol much faster than anybody else. And we'll be the only ones cornering the market like this. This will revolutionize our business. See you, big boy. Hell yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I love it when a plan comes together. <laughs>